Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you another uh, tutorial requested by a few people in the community. So today we're going to basically going to be um, switching items uh, based on um, what dimension we're in. So how this basically works is uh, like the gist of it is when we enter a dimension through teleportation it will like through the portal itself it will switch the items so i have a few examples and i've also made a template so you guys can kind of use it as a rough draft of what values you need but um what's going on is it can test for things in stacks as well as single items like armor and swords and stuff as well it doesn't matter what slot it's in it's just going to uh, change the um, type item. So let's hop through. And at the moment, um, you know, with some extra configuration, I'm sure you'll be able to make sure the armor actually goes in the proper slots and stuff. But uh, for the, the time being, uh, it's basically just the baseline of getting the item switched and stuff that people were really wanting. So uh, as you can see, we changed the cobblestone into. Uh, nether rock and um, the gold or diamond helmet is now gold and as well as the gold uh, diamond sword is now gold a uh, gold sword so um, outside of that uh, let's hop into the code it's actually really straightforward and simple so we can quickly take a look at that all right so the only thing that you're actually going to need is one regular procedure and uh, I've just called it a dimension checker and what this is going to do is um, basically check things repeatedly if there's uh, things in the inventory. Now for the um, the extra trigger, what you want to set it to is entity travels to a dimension. This is going to require the portal to be used, but um, it seems to work fine. So it's not constantly checking as if you were to have it on a player update tick or something like that. So that makes sure that when the player goes directly to the dimension, it's going to switch the items rather than with a player update tick. It's, it would basically make sure that the if they're in that dimension, it would always make sure that they don't have the, um, the diamond sword or whatever, which isn't always what you want to do because it does it can use a lot, uh, create a lot of lag that way. Um, but there is uh, some other things. I have all different examples in here. For example, I have the how the cobblestone works down here, and below is the sword or the armor. Pardon me. So let me explain how all this works. So the first thing that you probably noticed, it's in a repeater. So we're actually testing for uh, 37 times uh, if there's a sword in the player's inventory. This basically, uh, there's I believe 36 slots, uh, uh, nine times four plus the offhand slot. So it's 37. And what it's going to be doing is checking to see if they there is a diamond sword in any of those slots. And if, or depending on which dimension you're on, it's going to test for if there's a diamond sword. And if there is a diamond sword, it's basically going to remove, remove it and then replace it with a golden sword. So basically just to confirm all this, uh, the if statement here is to test for the uh, dimension ID of the dimension provided uh, entity is in. So that can be found under entity. And then if you scroll down, there is the ID of dimension provided. So it's the same thing here. And the number is equal to zero. Now zero is, um, the overworld. So negative one is the nether and I believe positive one is the end. And I believe, I'm not entirely sure, but most mods will start with their ID for a custom dimension with 
number three. I noticed that with working with dimensions, it's always three for me. So uh, yeah, that's basically how it all works. Um, so diamond is basically saying, is it negative one, the nether? And if true, then if they have as, if they also have a um, golden sword in their inventory, then they're going to basically remove that and switch it to a diamond sword when they go back to the overworld. And the same goes for the rest of it, but the, the times that we're checking for the item is a little bit higher for a stack of 64. We actually have to multiply the slot number with um, a uh, 64, so that's basically what I've done here. And armor is a little bit different um, because we can also put in our offhand as well as the uh, armor slot and anywhere in the inventory. So we needed to increase the number to 38 because it's only a solid item. You can't stack those items. So that's basically how it all works. Um, it's like I said, it's pretty straightforward. It's not too complicated. I'll leave the um, the workspace as well as the procedure in the um, uh, in a uh, download on my website as well as on the mcreator form that I have set up for 1.9.1. Outside of that, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys uh, learned something new. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.